Hi, my name is Janet Smith. Today, Gunjan Shah and I will be showing how to do large volume filtration of tissue culture media using vacuum or pressure driven systems. Today, we'll be filtering DMEM media. Please consult your user's manual for exact instructions. Stericap Plus filter units. For 5 to 10 liters of Stericap Plus with Express Plus PES membrane bottle top filter system can be used to filter vacuum rated bottles and other containers with inner neck diameters from 20 to 67 millimeters. We'll show you the steps on how to filter sterilize large volumes of aqueous solution media preparations such as a typical cell culture media reconstituted from powder like DM, EM with 10% serum buffers using a simulated tissue culture media and a vacuum driven bottle top filtration system with a filter area of 40 square centimeters. Caution, the unit is not compatible with strong acids, bases, polar solvents, aromatic solvents, most chlorinated solvents, or concentrated alcohols. See the product manual for chemical compatibility. Warning, wear eye protection whenever using glass or plastic vessels under partial vacuum. Setup, you will need a regulated vacuum source with tubing, sterile receiver bottles or vessels with an inner neck diameter of 20 to 67 millimeters and a 50 to 60 cc syringe can be used to reprime in the event of air locking. The sterile receiver bottles can also be used. First, set up the reservoir with your solution to be filtered. A vacuum dimmer filter unit called the Stericap plus a bottle top filter. Alternatively, a peristolic pump could be used. This filter device can be used to filter most aqueous solutions and medias, but check the user manual for chemical compatibility. Always follow usage and safety precautions and guidelines when using the system with vacuum pressure. Today, we will be filtering a stimulated tissue culture media. Procedure. Remove the filter unit and the tube set from packaging. Peel open their pouches using aseptic technique under a laminar flow hood or in another sterile environment. Attach the blue vacuum port on the side of the unit to a regulated vacuum source. If you use a water aspirator as a vacuum source, use a check valve or inline catch flask to prevent the system from accidentally drawing water into the receiving bottle. Connect the feed tube to the barbed fitting marked inlet on the clear dome top of the device. Place the other end of the tube into the solution you want to filter with the tube weight at the bottom of the feeder container. Note, the tube set is reusable. Keep the tube weight at the bottom of the feed bottle to prevent air from entering the tube set and creating an airlock. If the unit has slowed or stopped flowing because of an airlock, use a 50cc syringe to recover from an airlock event. Hold the Stericup Plus onto the top of the receiver bottle and turn on the vacuum to begin filtration. Continue holding the unit until the vacuum source secures the filter unit into place and the flow starts into the receiver bottle. Open vent port needle valve on the top of the unit to expel air until the filter is covered with liquid. A small amount of air collected at the top of the dome is normal and it will not affect filtration. If too much air enters the housing and filtration stops, go to the recovery from an airlock event in the user manual for instructions on repriming. When the receiver bottle is almost full, detach the unit from the bottle top by simply tilting it very slightly to lift the gasket off of the bottle. Breaking the vacuum seal on the downstream will temporarily stop the flow. Caution. Do not let the receiver bottle overflow with liquid or foam. This will cause fluid to advance into the vacuum line and could damage the vacuum pump or house vacuum system if vacuum trap or inline hydrophobic membrane filter to protect the vacuum line was not used. If more than one receiver bottle is being filled, detach by tilting as before or with the vacuum source still on, hold a Stericap Plus unit upright and move the Stericap Plus unit onto the next bottle. Hold the unit over the bottle until a vacuum seal is established and the bottle starts filling. Note, the total filtration volume of the Stericap Plus membrane will depend on the solution being filtered. If the membrane becomes fouled before filtration is finished, continue with a new Stericap Plus unit. Turn off the vacuum source to end filtration. 
Then disconnect the vacuum and tube set from the filter unit. Discard Steri Cap Plus filter unit appropriately. If you found this video useful, please subscribe to our YouTube video channel.